Hi everyone, my name is Ellie. I'm a curriculum developer at Codydex. Uh, if you haven't heard of us, we're a gamified learn to code platform, helping make learning to code fun and easy. We're writing courses in real time as we speak, and as an author of some of these courses that we have on our platform, I'm excited to share with you the top programming languages of 2025, depending on what you're trying to make. So we're going to cover data science, AI, web development, as well as a couple other things to help you get started on your journey if you're learning to code for the first time. And for some context, this list is composed of uh, data from GitHub, other college students, and people currently actively trying to get into the software engineering market. Uh, it's a little rough right now, but uh, we're going to try to explain some of the top programming languages for you to learn and pick up to make it easier on whether it is your job search or research uh, or anything of the sort. And as a recent college grad and also someone who went to over 40 plus hackathons, I feel that these are also some of the ones that I have seen kind of really prevalent around like college and also self learners that are trying to learn to code for the first time. So we're going to start with some basic mobile and web dev. I, I feel like this is a very common one that people start off with. Uh, so for any application, HTML and CSS are going to be the markup languages that you're going to learn first alongside uh, JavaScript as a programming language. If you're a bit more ahead on your coding journey, you're going to probably consider React uh, as this is one of the most largely used frameworks uh, as of right now for web development. And as a plus side, I will also add in uh, React with TypeScript, which is JavaScript with static types. And basically this means that the code is going to be a little bit more maintainable long term, especially if you're building a bigger application. Okay, and let's say you also want to build mobile apps. So for this, for any iOS apps, you're going to probably want to learn Swift. So this is going to be the one that's uh, mostly used for Mac apps or iPhone apps. For Android apps, Java is going to be the most popular choice, but Kotlin, I'm going to add in as a plus because uh, it's widely used in industry as of right now, and it's also a little bit easier to read. Uh, and I've seen this also pop up in a lot of computer science classes. And while Kotlin can also technically be used for iOS apps, if you want more of like a cross-platform experience, uh, not sticking to either or, I'm going to probably recommend the Flutter uh, framework. Flutter uses the Dart programming language, so that's what you're going to be learning instead as you learn Flutter. Okay, and one of the biggest things this year obviously is AI and machine learning. It's probably the biggest topic in tech as of right now. And so obviously to start learning a little bit about what is AI and large language models. Python is probably by no doubt going to be the biggest language that is dominant in the space. And while you're learning Python, you're probably gonna wanna also check out the associated libraries with for AI and ML, which is uh, probably PyTorch, Scikit-Learn, uh, and TensorFlow. Okay, moving on, we have game development, which is my personal favorite. So the top two game engines right now is Unity and Unreal Engine. For Unity, C Sharp is the programming language that it uses and Unreal Engine uses C++. So while it doesn't actually matter that you use either or, these both of these languages are industry standard, so you're gonna probably want to learn them a little bit before um, you start actually learning the game engine itself. And if you're interested in something a little bit more simple or not necessarily learning a game engine, JavaScript libraries like P5 and also Phaser are great options as well if you wanna make web-based games. Okay, so for everyone interested in data, obviously it's gonna come to no surprise that the biggest language for data uh, is also Python. You might also sometimes see R, the programming language, but I kind of find this to be more in academic settings or in research mostly. Some top data science related Python libraries is going to be your pandas, numpy, and also matplotlib. Another one that I'm gonna put on here is SQL. SQL is specifically designed for interacting with relational databases and manipulating data in that sort of way. So not only is this important if you're also interested in data, but if you happen to also be building web apps um, and mobile applications, you're going to need a, a place to store data and SQL is gonna be a great way to sort of help you figure out and query that data while you're having user information stored in applications. And if you're looking for the top programming language of 2025, it is going to be no doubt Python. So not only is this the biggest language uh, on GitHub right now, as you may have noticed, we're using it in a lot of use cases and it's also an object-oriented programming language. So it basically covers a lot of bases here uh, and it's going to be the main one that you may want to learn and pick up. Personally, I am going to also kind of, as an honorable mention, I'm going to suggest also C++. C++ requires like manual memory management. So this is going to help you understand actually how computers are compiling your code. So C++ is, if you're learning to code for the first time, probably the top language that I suggest for you. And that is it for the top programming languages of 2025. My name is Ellie and 
Um, if you're looking for any place to learn any of these programming languages, some of the top ones that we mentioned, uh, they're going to be available on the Cody Dex website as different courses for you to take. It is completely free to start. So totally recommend going to codydex.io for that. And thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, we hope that it was able to guide you a little bit in your journey and learning how to code and picking exactly what language you're going to learn uh, for what you're trying to build.